Hello, welcome to Ken Beer Reviews. Today I've got a bottle of Gads, number three. Brewery just up the road. As you can see, I've got a t-shirt on. Um, it's It says it's a pale ale, but I've looked elsewhere to say it's a bitter, so it's kind of, you know, um, I believe the bottle, personally, anyway. It's brewed with East Kent Goldings, and along with malted barley, malted wheat and brewer's yeast. Um, it's coming in at 5% ABV, it's a 500ml bottle. Anyway, let's get this out. There's the bottle cap. Let's see what this one brings. Hopefully it won't go everywhere. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. Right. Decent glug going on there. It's bottle conditioned. It's very clear at this stage. It's a one finger white head. Um, gentle carbonation running up the glass. I'm using my uh, 2015 Kent Beer Festival glass. It's the last day, that's today, now, this evening, so uh, this was done on the Saturday, this review, so this will be gone by then, by the time you see this, so, anyway, it's quite clear, sort of golden, golden colour really, see right through it, let's have an aroma on this one. You're picking up a few caramel kind of notes. Um, a little bit sort of floral. Um, you're getting a little bit of lemon, only slight. Any other information on here? It's certainly clean, very clean smelling and, and obviously looking at this stage as well. It's definitely, you're picking up them hops. It's, um, I don't know if there's any other, I think there might be a, a few um, Fuggles hops as well. Um, but certainly there's East Kent Goldings in this. Anyway, it smells nice, give it a try. Cheers. Quite bitter, sort of bittersweet balance on the front. It's leaving a nice, slightly kind of sweet, zesty on the palate, on the tongue. It's nice amounts of carbonation. Even quite a decent lace in there. Medium kind of medium bodied. So it's coming in at five percent, so it's quite it's drinking quite well. Mm. Lemony. A little bit of um it's definitely a floral kind of hop, um, sort of hedgerow-y kind of middle of the palate. A um, little bit zesty, lemony, limey in the middle of the palate, and that's leaving that taste on the palate, sort of even now. Um, several, you know, 20 seconds after you've you've, you've swallowed the beer. Um, I've had this obviously quite a few times on on um, on cask. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Um, their brewery is just about a mile up the road for me. So plus um, that, that they've actually recently purchased a pub just down the road. So which was been my local for a few years. So um, this is on fairly regularly in there. 
along with their number seven, which they don't bottle. Um, that's a that's a nice light light ale, three point seven or something like that. But no, this is very pleasant. Hmm. Nice bitter sweet balance, zesty. Um. There's a load of writing on there, quite a bit of writing, so if you want to pause that. It's saying it's drink fresh. It's got a shelf life of, I think it's, yeah, December. Let's just see it there. So if you want to pause that. There's a website. I've also got a blog which is on that website. As, long, as as well as um, Facebook, Twitter, that kind of thing. I put all this information in the description below. Um, taking this weather really now at the moment, it's been a bit unsettled. Last last night, and there's forecast of loads of rain for tomorrow. So, kind of doing a few beers today. Anyway, let's get this bottle condition stuff out. It's not overly so, but Let's see if it changes very much. So it's still very clear. So there's not a lot of um, yeast in this one. There's there's tiny little particles floating around in it. I don't know if you can see. Just a faint. Very nice though, a little bit fruity as well. It's a, it's a nice pale ale, stroke, stroke bitter really. Um, there's a few websites saying this is a, a bitter, but yeah. It's a solid brew from a solid brewery. Um, as for a rating for the Gadge number three from the Ramsgate Brewery, um, one more taste. Yeah, it's very pleasant. I'm going to give that a seven and a half out of ten. Um, I think that's I don't know how many other Gads beers I've done now. Um, I think I've done the number five and the, the Black Pearl I've done. And now this is the number three. Um, kind of starting to run out of bottled beers for from my local brewery, but I've still got a couple of Imperial Stouts in the fridge. Um, I don't know when to do those. I might hang on for a little while yet, but. Um, there's a beer that comes out in September, October that I'm looking forward to doing. It's um, excuse me, every year, quite a few Kent breweries. I say quite a few, twenty odd Kent breweries do a like a green hop fortnight, where they dry hop up their beers, and they each each brewery in Kent has got a different version of a of a green hop ale, which is. Um, I always look forward to trying those each year to see how how they vary in taste, um, depending on the on the crop that year. Really, um, Gads do a green hop, and quite a few others. So I'll be looking forward to trying that one. Um, I like to drink them ones quite fresh as soon as I can get them. Really, um, and hopefully do one or two. Um, cask beers of theirs because um, they, they do a lot of seasonal brews that you can't actually get in bottles so I'm going to have to venture out when I, when I get the chance and um, and do some of these brews sort of in the various pubs in Ramsgate that, that sell their stuff so so that would be quite interesting to try and do some reviews in the pub so I'll probably be interrupted like you know, you know what it's like a bit of live recording in a pub. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, so yeah, a seven and a half out of ten for me on this one. 
Um, check their check their brewery out. The Ramsgate Brewery. They're they're very good. Um, being from my own town as well, so I know a few people that work there. So yeah, check them out and look out for more beer reviews from these guys anyway. Cheers.